Hello, my name is John Kelly and this is the Weber Auto YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to check the automatic transmission fluid level on Hydromatic 6, 8 and 10 speed rear wheel drive automatic transmissions. The Camaro behind me here is a 2017 Chevrolet uh, Camaro Supersport. It has the Hydromatic 8L90 transmission in it. Now, if you just go back a year or two, the transmission that you would have gotten was a 6L90, a six-speed transmission. And for e even in 2017 and 2018 uh, and beyond, there is a 10L90, a 10-speed automatic transmission available. And it's not just available in the, the Camaro. Uh, it'll be available in, in other rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive uh, trucks. Uh, the, I'm sure it'll end up in the, the Corvette uh, as well, uh, the 10-speed. The thing that's challenging about checking the transmission fluid level on these vehicles is that they do not have dipsticks in the majority of them. Some of the SUVs the, and pickup trucks do have a dipstick tube and a dipstick, but the passenger cars, the, the Camaro, the, the Corvette, the, the, a lot of the Cadillacs, they do not have a dipstick. So instead, we have an oil pan and in the bottom of the oil pan there is a special plug and you'll notice this oil pan does not have any other plugs in it this plug right here is to check the automatic transmission fluid level so there's a, a procedure that you have to go through to precondition the, the automatic transmission the vehicle the transmission fluid temperature and so on to where it's ready to check this fluid uh, level uh, and of course the engine must be running to do that do not take this out with the engine not running uh, because you'll you'll lose a lot of fluid uh, out of the transmission that you want to have back in there and putting the fluid back in is quite a challenge uh, on these if you don't have the uh, proper tools to do it so inside of this transmission pan as you can see here there's this stand pipe and it sticks up above the top of the transmission oil pan uh, gasket area which by the way the the rubberized uh, metal gasket that goes on here is reusable uh, in the service information it says that if the gasket is stuck to the pan or stuck to the case then it's not reusable and you must replace it um, otherwise it's it's reusable uh, I don't understand the logic of that unless uh, maybe during removal you bend it or damage it somehow, uh, which would it would need to be replaced anyway. All right, so we are going to learn how to precondition the vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a 6-speed, an 8-speed, or a 10-speed uh, transmission without the dipstick on GM uh, products. And then you're going to take out the transmission fluid level check plug looks just like this has a little rubber seal on it it this is only tightened to less than eight foot pounds it's 80 inch pounds um, and if fluid comes out after the vehicle's been preconditioned properly then the fluid level was too high if no fluid comes out then you have the challenge of putting fluid back in until it's high enough that it does come out uh, <laughs> and so i'll show you uh, some of the tools available uh, to do that now uh, the, the the six speed the gm uh, 6l90 and the smaller variants of it this the 6l50 the 6l45 and so on the eight speed version that's in this camaro the 8l90 and there are 8L50, 8L45, um, and other uh, variations of the 8-speed. And the 10-speed will have the same thing, the 10L90 automatic transmission. They are all checked the same way. The location of this straw or standpipe and how tall it is is different in the 6, 8, and 10-speed uh, automatic transmissions. And the temperature of the fluid is different on all three of those uh, but the procedure is the same other than um, the fluid temperature so 
if you were checking the fluid level on a six speed uh, 6L90 hydromatic transmission or any variation of that, the transmission fluid temperature must be between 86 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you are checking on the eight speed transmission like we will do on this Camaro here, uh, it, the fluid temperature must be between 131 and 149 degrees unless you are running what's called a track session. You're in track mode and in that case they want the transmission fluid temperature above 194 degrees. Now if you have the 10 speed automatic transmission then they want the transmission at full operating temperature which is defined at 203 to 212 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Now the interesting thing uh, in reading the service information on these is they tell you uh, if it's too hot to just let it cool down before you check the fluid level otherwise you'll let out too much fluid because the fluid expanded and then you'll be underfilled. Uh, if it's too cold and this is the funny part and uh, let me read this right here to you. If the if the transmission fluid temperature, as read on a scan tool, is lower than the, the temperature range, either idle or brake torque, <laughs> brake torque, the vehicle to raise the transmission fluid temperature. Now, idling, I can understand that. Going out and driving it to warm it up, but I, I can understand. But brake torquing? Brake torquing is when you step on the brake, put the transmission in drive, and step on the the, the gas pedal. Uh, that's a I can't believe they even have that in the service information. That's a good way to overheat a, a torque converter uh, very quickly. Uh, I I sure hope they take that out. Uh, for all of you guys that get the idea that you can brake torque a transmission to warm up the fluid, you better not do that for more than like 10 seconds uh, at a time, and then let it cool down for a couple of minutes in between. Uh, from what I've uh, seen and learned in the past, the internal fluid temperature inside that torque converter can raise 10 degrees Fahrenheit per second. So a 10 second brake torque can increase the fluid temperature 100 degrees Fahrenheit inside the torque converter. And if you keep doing that uh, longer than 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, you are running a huge risk of overheating the fluid in the inside of that torque converter which of course will uh, there's a potential of melting uh, plastic and nylon derivative type parts inside the transmission oil pump the torque converter the rest of the transmission uh, it's just a really bad idea so don't do that all right we are going to precondition this 2017 Camaro Supersport uh, behind us and check the fluid level and once again, the procedure is exactly the same on the 6-speed, the 8-speed, and the 10-speed for preconditioning, uh, other than what fluid temperature do you bring the fluid to before you remove the fluid level check plug. All right, now, uh, there's one other thing that we need to discuss, and that is transmission fluids. If you have a six-speed GM automatic transmission, then it takes the Dexron, and that's spelled D-E-X-R-O-N. There's no T in there for you guys that think it's Dextron. Dexron 6 automatic transmission fluid. That's for the six-speed automatic transmissions. All right, when you move to the eight-speed transmission, that's in this Camaro here behind us. It calls for Dexron HP, the high performance uh, fluid. And then there's a service bulletin that says if you have a torque converter clutch shutter that you are supposed to go get Mobile One and not just any Mobile One fluid. This has to be the Mobile One LV for low viscosity ATF HP. It must be this fluid and no other fluid. Now, this fluid can replace the Dexron HP in the eight speeds, but this was 
uh, specifically called for if you have a torque converter clutch shutter issue that uh, was in existence from the 2016 through 17 in certain VIN number or up to a certain VIN number cutoff. So two different uh, possible fluids for the 8-speed. If you have the 10-speed automatic transmission, then don't put any of those other fluids in there. It calls for the Dexron ULV, which is ultra low viscosity fluid. And if you put any other fluid in that transmission, there's a strong possibility that you'll cause damage to it. That transmission was designed for this specific fluid specification. So keep in mind which fluid you're going to put back in. So three different fluids for three different uh, transmissions. Uh, but let's get going on the transmission fluid level uh, check procedure. So on this eight speed transmission in the Camaro here, the, uh, the procedure is to hook up a scan tool and monitor the transmission fluid temperature. Now I've hooked up a scan tool and the temperature in the shop right now is 84 degrees. Uh, now this is read right off of the transmission fluid temperature in sensor inside the transmission. Uh, for those of you who use an infrared uh, temperature uh, gun, you, you might want to compare the transmission fluid temperature sensor reading on the scan tool to what your infrared gun is reading. If they're very, very close, then that's a good and good indication that you can use it. Uh, but if they're off, which a lot of times they are because those infrared guns may not work well on a shiny surface uh, like a transmission oil pan, especially if it's painted gloss black. Uh, so uh, that may not be a ac good, accurate way of doing it. So we're, we're going to watch the transmission fluid temperature as step one. We are going to start and idle the engine. We're going to put the transmission or step on the brake pedal and put the transmission in gear and run it through each gear range. So park, reverse, neutral, drive, low, and whatever other uh, gear ranges there may be. Pausing for at least three seconds in each gear range and then put the transmission back in park. The engine RPM must be between 500 and 800 RPM to perform this check and then let the engine idle for at least one minute and then raise the vehicle on a hoist. The hoist must be level with the engine running sh and, and the transmission shift lever in park and then watch the transmission fluid temperature. Once that temperature of the fluid, not, not the engine coolant temperature, uh, once the transmission fluid temperature uh, on this Camaro is between 131 and 149 degrees Fahrenheit, then remove the check plug. And if fluid comes out, then it was overfilled and just let it drain until it quits uh, dripping. If no fluid comes out, add fluid until it does. Um, also look at the, the fluid condition, make sure it's uh, not really dark, dark uh, brown or black and that it doesn't smell uh, like it's burnt and that it's not contaminated or, or milky uh, looking like it might have uh, coolant uh, mixed in with it. And then when you're all done you put the plug back in and tighten it to the 80 inch pounds, not foot pounds, 80 inch pounds which is just a little under 8 foot pounds. All right, well, we are going to set this Camaro up and do that right now. Okay, let's take a look under the car, find these uh, components, the drain plug and any other associated parts, uh, and then we'll do the procedure. All right, obviously here's the transmission oil pan. Right here is our transmission fluid level check plug. On the side of the transmission, we have two oil cooler lines. 
Uh, one of them comes from the cooler, this one right here, so the cooler in the front of the vehicle. The other one, if we follow the pipes, goes to the rear differential. So we can see the pipe pick up right here and head to the rear differential. So here comes the fluid from the transmission. Goes through a heat exchanger in this 8.8-inch uh, uh, rear differential and then goes out through this other pipe down the right-hand side of the vehicle. Right here. All the way past the automatic transmission. You can see it right here. It does not connect to the automatic transmission. Um, it's bolted to it, just a bracket, and then it goes up front to the transmission coolers. This particular model has two coolers. One of them that's in the bottom it has its own section in the bottom of the radiator and then one that is in front of the condenser. Um, but we'd have to take off all these panels to see it. Okay, our current transmission fluid temperature is 84 degrees. Steve, go ahead and start the engine. Okay, go ahead and put it, run it, take it from park to reverse, neutral. Three seconds in each one. So we're taking it through each gear range for three seconds to circulate fluid through the transmission. Now we're going to go back to park. Are you in park? Okay. Now just let it idle. Okay, the transmission is in park. We are now waiting for the transmission fluid temperature to reach 131 to 149 degrees. Let's watch on the scan tool. Our engine RPM needs to be between 500 and 800. So we're at 640. Our transmission fluid temperature is only 86. So it's going to take a little while to warm up the transmission fluid. All right, we are at 131 degrees. Uh, I suspect we'll only have a few minutes before it gets up to the upper level of 149. So let's take this plug out of here. I've loosened it. Keep in mind this fluid is hot now. It's 149 degrees, or 131 degrees. So I've got an oil pan here. I'm just gonna take that plug out. As you can see, transmission fluid is coming out. That tells us there was too much fluid in this transmission. So now we just let it run. We just let the fluid keep coming out. Until it slows to a drizzle. It's a very small hole that it comes out of, so it can take a little while to drain everything out. It also makes it difficult to put the fluid back in, since it's such a small hole.
All right, we're getting almost there. There we go, slow drip, put the plug back in. Pull. There we go. And we've now adjusted the fluid level on this eight speed uh, transmission properly. Now, if the fluid level was too low, no fluid would have come out when we took that plug out of there. And in that case, we would have to add fluid. So let's talk about how to do that next. Okay, if your transmission fluid level was too low when you took the, the plug out, the fluid level check plug, at the proper temperature for your 6, 8, or 10 speed rear wheel drive hyd hydromatic transmission, then you have to add fluid to the transmission until it does come out of this drain plug uh, fill or fluid level check plug. Uh, there are two ways to put fluid back inside the transmission. By far the easiest way is to get some sort of an, of an adapter, take this plug out with the engine running, screw the adapter into there, hook a, a hose to it and pump fluid uh, up inside of there. Now, the official GM procedure for this is to hook up their cooler flush machine, which comes with an adapter for that hole, and pump fluid up in. Just pump too much fluid up in. Make sure it's the right fluid, though, as we talked about. And then when you take the, the hose off, if it was too much fluid, it'll just drip out until uh, the correct level is reached, as long as you have not exceeded the maximum fluid temperature as read on the scan tool. Once again, uh, the infrared gun that I have, the Blue Point infrared thermometer, uh, when I point it directly at the, the oil pan, right at the end of that procedure, it read right around 99, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The transmission fluid temperature sensor inside the pan read 140. So you better pay attention to the scan tool fluid temperature value rather than an infrared gun. All right, now the second way to get fluid back inside the 6, 8, or 10 speed automatic transmission is on the side of the transmission here, there is a plug. And it's very difficult to get to. It's buried up inside. You've got the exhaust system going past, or a cooler line going past if you have the additional cooler in the rear differential. Uh, on these Camaros, but this little plug here it, uh, has two parts. So if you can get in and lift up, I'm going to use a, a door panel trim tool right here, lift up on that center piece, that unlocks the rest of the plug and you can attempt from the bottom, you probably have to bend one of these to 90, a 90 degree angle to lift it up and out. So here is the plug. Once you get this plug removed, then there's a hole right here where you can uh, stick a hose or an adapter of some sort with a uh, hook or angle on it to pump fluid down inside. Now, um, this could be covered with dirt, uh, grease, or whatever else might be up, the, up on top of there, so you don't want to take this plug out without first cleaning that off really well. And once again, it's very difficult to even get to. The exhaust system and the transmission are going to be very hot by the time you get to the point where you need to add fluid. So if it's too hot, you may not have any other choice than to just let it cool down again and then add too much 
of the correct fluid and then run the fluid level check procedure again precondition the transmission fluid and the vehicle and then run that fluid check uh, again and then when you put the plug back in make sure you lubricate it with transmission fluid push it down in all the way and then lock that upper piece down in and it'll expand out and prevent it from coming out all right well <laughs> uh, this has been a demonstration of the fluid level checking procedure for the hydromatic 6L90, 8L90, and 10L90 uh, and their variants uh, transmission. The transmission in this Camaro that we used is the 8L90 automatic transmission uh, that I've got uh, sitting right here. All right. Thanks for watching.